What's up, Rock the Boat Nation? It's your boy Tank back again, one more time. Episode number 18. Boy, we got beat down last week by the Atlanta Falcons, but this week we have the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be a rival game this week. Oh, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's just start this show. So what's new on rocktheboat.com? Oh, we have the fallout of the Atlanta Falcons game and the Chargers. It's the fact that we got beat up. There was a few articles that kind of hit on it. Like we had the report card. We had the uh, daily lightning strikes. Some of that had to do with it. We have the high fives and low fives. I'm going to talk about just three articles in particular. One, that being, being the report card. The report card, San Diego Chargers versus the Atlanta Falcons, written by MC Boatman. He's our new, our, our newest writer. He also has his own channel here on YouTube.com where he makes Chargers music videos, which is pretty awesome. I have to save myself. Anyways, he kind of went through uh, the offense, defense, social teams, and kind of he gave him a letter grade. You know, you should read it. I mean, it's a letter grade you get in school. And honestly, if it was my report card, I'll be sad. I'll, I'll be scared to show that to my parents. But MC Bowman, he wrote it, he he was brutally honest, and I, actually, I'm glad he did it that way, because it's the truth. He graded what they deserve for that game. So check out that article. Of course, we have another one written by uh, Jeffrey. Uh, he put, uh, it was a, just another San Diego versus uh, Falcons, uh, subtitle, See No Evil. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can kind of tell where this is going. He, he gives a nice little rundown of the game, a little, uh, he, he, he brings it back to you, a recap. That's what I'm looking for, a recap. He recaps the game for you guys. And he kind of puts his own little sense of humor in it. Uh, if you read it, you'll enjoy it. Even though we'll probably be crying a little bit because of the fact that we got killed that game. But honestly, uh, like he put on there too, I'm also glad we went through this early in the season. Get it out the system real quick. Just get it all out. Shake it all out. Anyways, that was a good article to read. It was written by Jeffrey Hancock. Check it out. And of course, you have your high fives and low fives, both written by David Medina. Uh, he gets his high fives where he has actually Ryan Matthews uh, as one of the high fives. I know a lot of you guys were mad about him fumbling, but come on. Dude went out there and had more yards in that one game than probably both, both games combined with the other running backs we have. So, yeah, he's on the high five, even though he fumbled it. He still, he still was great out there. Of course, we have a low five, which one particularly sticks out is Phillip Rivers. The fact that he threw two interceptions, the fact that he wasn't leading his team correctly, the fact that maybe he was getting pressured. I don't know, but he's on the low five anyways. Check out those two articles, read them, they're really good reads, and it kind of puts it in perspective of what you need to know on uh, who's really pushing, who's really doing good right now for the San Diego Chargers. And we have our daily lightning strikes, of course. One particular that really stood out was Ryan Matthews should be cut or traded, written by, of course, Patrick Green. You know how I feel about his sense of humor. He's, he has one good sense of humor. Um, he's pretty much mocking anybody who's thinking that, though, which is, should be true. You need to be mocking people who think that he should be cut, because he shouldn't be cut. Anyways, we have another one. Uh, Daylight Strike with Jared Gaither is now back in practice for two days now. He's practice. So we should definitely be happy about that. I mean, if he's going to play this week, uh, probably not. But maybe next week. I'm looking forward to that next week when we go against the Saints. And we also have other daily lighting strikes. Like uh, players got rewarded. Like Michael Floyd got a three-year deal. That's pretty cool. He, he's one of those hard workers. Never complained. Never was a prima donna. But anyways, uh, he got his three years, which is pretty awesome. All right, so now is our weekly top picks. Our top picks and my low picks. Um, my top pick for this week is gonna be New England Patriots going against the Buffalo Bills. You know, albeit certain times, I would think this would be a really good matchup, but not this week, but I still feel like it's gonna be a game to watch. Um, I always, I can't, I don't know. I don't know if the Patriots are gonna win or not. I really don't know. So if I, me saying that, they, they might just win. Either way, that's the game to watch, in my opinion. Definitely look for that one. And of course, 
The one that I really don't think is going to do so good is going to be the San Francisco 49ers against the New York Jets. Honestly, I feel that San Francisco is going to go over there, go over there and just handle business. I don't really see them even, you know, I mean, it's going to be a tough game, I think, but expect to see Tebow in this game a lot. I really do see that, but Niners are going to are going to beat the Jets and continue on their winning ways, even though they lost last week. So those are my two top weekly picks. Uh, have a comment below if you think I'm wrong, you have your own games, think you should, I should look out for, leave it below and let me know. And of course, in other news, in the NFL, if you guys have not noticed, we got our refs back. So I guess I decided to talk about the refs. There's no particular article because you can read all kind of blogs and everything, but I'm going to give my opinion on it. Okay. First off, we have to understand as football players, uh, football player fans, we always complain about everything. I mean, last year, last year, we we probably wouldn't even had a season. We wouldn't have had a season, yet we still did. And you guys are still complaining. So this year, the refs weren't there. We we're, were complaining, but knowing that we still could play with the original refs anyway, saying, that was a bad call. That should have been gone this way. So guess what? All you fans out there, yes, this is me being a father to you all. Get over yourself. Refs are going to call the way the refs are going to call because it's on their own instinct. If they see something wrong, they will call it. And maybe, maybe it was a little more fluctuated this time around, but I guarantee you people are going to complain about the refs who are coming back anyways. So relax. Watch the game. It's only week It's only week four. Week four, you guys. The season is not over yet. We are barely getting into the first quarter of the season. Relax. The refs are back. Grab some of the drink. Eat some chips. Sit on your comfy couch. Watch the game. And quit complaining about the refs. I'm through with it. Only reason why I have not been talking about it because it's stupid to even mention it. That was another news. Let's move on. Well, guys, sorry about this video. It might seem a little weird, but I got a call in the middle of it, so I kind of threw out my vibe. I didn't really want to re reshoot the whole thing. So you get what you get. This is me. This is how I run my show. A rock the boat show. This is how I run it. If I if something happens, I improvise. Improvise. That's the word of the day. But anyways, guys, this is your boy Tank. If you guys have not checked out another articles as I was talking, please check them out. Go to our website www.rocktheboat.com. You find plenty of articles and all kinds of stuff. Check us out on Twitter, on Facebook. Game day, we have Twitter live, tw live twittering. That's the word for it. I don't know. But we just talk about, the, we go throughout the game, somebody picks up the uh, the feed and we just go through the first quarter to the very end of the quarter and we give you a nice little semi play by play. Definitely worth checking out. And also a Facebook page where we just update, just random updates of just articles, anything. By the way, I did not say this, but we had to sign Nick Novak. Nope, Nick Kenny is not dead or hurt. I probably shouldn't have said that, but it doesn't matter. He has a sore groin, so we're being on the safe side. We decided, decided to sign up Nick Novak. So he should, he probably will be playing this coming up game. So just be ready to see him again for uh, Nick Nick Novakane, I like to call him. Anyways, and anyway, I, I mean, stuff like that. That would probably be a daily, daily lightning strike. I haven't been on the website I'm filming right now, but it probably is up there. Um, so this is your boy Tank once again. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for all those great comments. Comments, uh, comments last week about the game. A lot of you guys are mad and frustrated. I totally understand. I try to get to all of them as much as possible. And there's also one comment who's looking for. If anybody knows this, because I'm not too sure. I can't go to games because I'm up here at school. And you guys know this. There's a song that plays in the stadium that's like a Chargers theme, and apparently it's like some R&B thing that has like Neo. It's like sounds like Neo and some other guys. So one of the one of the comment people commented on other videos were asking. So I'm going to the fans, or even the staff, if you guys know a song, or any songs that are played in the stadium, please leave a comment below, or send me a message so I can get back to the other person who was looking for it. Because I try to answer as much questions as possible. If I can't answer it, I'm going to go to the people. The people know it, the people will answer it, they'll give it to me, and I'll give it back to them. 
Hope that made sense to you guys, because I don't think it made sense to myself. Either way, I'll catch you guys after the game. Peace. We're coming your way.